bounds. Hi guys, this is again your friendly tanky neighbor Gideon Boniel. From our previous episodes, we learned how to control LED using pulse with modulation. And for this episode, we will be having an interactive LEDs flowing lights. So stay tuned! Welcome to our lesson 3, the interactive LED flowing lights. Introduction. In this lesson, a potentiometer is added on the basis to change the interval of LED flashing by the adjusting the potentiometer. Components used, one Arduino Uno board, one breadboard, eight light emitting diodes or LED, a resistor with the values of 220 ohms, one potentiometer, one USB cable, and several jumper wires. Experimental principle. The principle is quite simple, that is, to turn 8 LEDs on in turn, and then change the time interval of LED on and off by adjusting the potentiometer. So for the experimental procedures, let's build the circuit. So this will be our cir cir circuit here. As you can see, we have 8 LEDs, 8 resistors, connecting wires, we have the potentiometers, Arduino Uno, and uh, a breadboard. We will implement this later in our actual demonstration. And for the uh, schematic diagram, so again, step 1 is to build the circuit. Step 2, program. So we have an example code. Step 3, compile the code. Step 4, upload the sketch to the Arduino Uno board. Here you should see 8 LEDs light up one by one in turn. Adjust the potentiometer and you will find the time interval of LED lighting up changes. So we will also implement this one in our actual demonstration, okay? So what's up again guys? For this lesson, these are the components that we, we need. We have the Arduino Uno board. Um, the potentiometer, the resistors with the value of 220 ohms. We have here the light emitting diodes, color red, green, and yellow. Of course, we also have jumper wires and, and the breadboard. I use um, red wires for red LED, green wires for green LED, and yellow wires for yellow LED. And these black wires and white here is uh, will be used for our ground. This will be our wires for the potentiometer. So let's start here. We will be using um, pins 2, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The long wire is for positive and the shorter one is negative. Let's make sure that uh, the positive side of the LED is on the right side here and the negative ones are here so we can easily identify its pins. Okay, so yellow is on the right side. Green. So every LED's left side is ground. Okay. Resistors. Resistors on the positive side of the LED so every right side right let's jump it here okay right side And now let's attach the ground wires. Let's make it a common connection for every block wire. Common connection. I 
And then, common connection to Arduino ground. So let's connect it here on the leftmost part, VCC. And we can um, attach it here on the red line. And this line is for ground and the upper line is for our positive or VCC. And then the output in the middle. Is okay. Okay. Let's connect the ground here. So the ground first, let's put the ground for 5 volts, 5 volts, to the 5 volts here. Or you can just directly put this one here, 5 volts. Output pin A0. So that's analog 0. Okay. Red. Red. Make sure that you are aligned with the resistors. So we've connected the wire that will also be connected to the Arduino. Pin number 2. The next red wire will be connected to pin number 3. Pin number 4. Pin number 5 to pin number 6. 7, 8, lastly, pin number 9. Let's compile. Compiling the code allows you to see if there are errors prior to the uploading the code. Upload now the code and see what happens. I hope we don't mess up with this connection. Okay. Now it's now uploading. Oh. Uh huh. Can you see it? The LEDs are now starting to blink. Okay. So let's try it. I I will now turn the knob. Okay. It be it became faster. As you can see there. And now I'm gonna turn it much faster. <laughs> okay, can you see it? Well, that's one cool project right there. So if we want it slow again, so let's turn the knob. The maximum and the lowest speed that we could get. Okay. LED number is equal to A, so the number of the LED you attach. So there are also comments on the right side for you to be guided if you want to implement this or upload this to your Arduino on board. So we have byte LED pin. So this is an array. This is structure of an array from 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that, that were the pins that we have used earlier. So we have um, LED delay or LED delay between this is the delay between changes in pot pin or do the one we used for the potentiometer so it's a zero analog zero and then let's move on to the void setup for the void setup we uh, we use a for loop so that uh, we will no longer use like if we manually put the pin to three to to nine um, we will be using also eight pin modes here so we will use for loop to re, um, to reduce the use of these statements. So for int x is equal to zero, x is less than led number x plus plus. So increment. Our LED number here is eight. If x with with the starting value of zero is less than LED number, so true. It's true. Therefore, x will increment for the void loop as i mentioned uh, for the void loop as i always tell you so in inside the for uh, the void loop the code will run over and over again until it satisfies what's inside it so we have here for integer i 
equals to 0, i is less than 8, i plus plus, so it's, it will again increment. For our lib delay or LED delay, we have used the potentiometer, the analog grid for the potentiometer. That's why if we move, if we turn the knob of the potentiometer from left to right, there's actually a difference. LED delay or LED delay is used so that the turns from one LED to another will depend on the reading of the path pin. So digital read um, LED pin I here, from here, so it will um, visit all the array that you have indicated. And then from, from array 0 to, to 8, which is from 2 pin 2 to 9 it will turn on the led so um, led delay is according to the poten the potentiometer so how so how much you want to um turn it will also um affect the delay of the leds so basically that's that's another one so again since it is a turn and turn and turn so you also have to indicate low means off on off on so we will actually recognize the difference between the two so after it reaches the num the eighth um array the number the eighth array then we execute this for loop here and and i is equal to seven so since this is an array so from zero one two three four five six seven so that's eight so that's pin number eight okay so i is equal to seven i is greater than or equal to zero if it um, falls on number uh, from zero one two three four five seven is the eight array so this seven if it reaches the value of i and then it will decrement so again same process here i is equal to zero when it reaches um the numbers um the number seven since we have here less than eight this code here will now be executed since it falls on the seven so since it's seven and the next the next condition here is i is greater than or equal to zero then it will decrement so it will again from it will visit again the array which are which are from zero to set to to seven and which is equal to the pin numbers two to nine so from one two three four five six seven eight so that's pin two three four five six seven eight nine. It will execute this code and then it will be back to from nine eight seven six five four three two. So that's why we see the difference of the LED lighting in thirds. Okay. Just learn interactive LEDs flowing lights. And for our next episode, we will know about sixteen by two LCD with I two C module. So stay tuned.